Hey guys, let's see how this scene was illustrated and then animated in After Effects. We'll start in Illustrator. The scene starts with text and other elements reveal around it. The main focal points, however, are these isometric cubes. They are placed in a hexagonal shape, so I'll quickly create an isometric grid and then I'll make guides from the grid. I also make sure that the snapping tolerance is set to maximum, so it's easier to work that way, especially if smart guides and snap to point are enabled. And let's design a cube. Let's make the strokes slightly thicker, so it's easier to see. I grab each side of the cube, duplicate it and resize. And then recolor like this. Another option is to use the extrude and bevel effect, which I think is absolutely fine for basic elements like cubes. Just find the right amount of depth you need to extrude and then expand the object and ungroup the sides so that you can recolor them. The next group of elements are the chains. They basically consist of rectangles with rounded corners and a few short lines that connect them together. Very simple. Make sure the elements are correctly placed on the artboard. Some cubes should sit in front of the chains and some should go behind them. If all cubes are behind the chains, then the illusion of this 3D space is broken. I think the rest of the artboard feels a bit empty, so I added these lines and small circles, partly for decoration and partly to highlight the topic. We're talking about blockchain, so they give this tech vibe. The only rule here is to use 45 and 90 degree angles. I also like to group a bunch of lines together, duplicate and reflect or rotate the group somehow and use elsewhere in the scene. It creates this repetition and order. Ok, let's jump into After Effects. This is the scene. As I mentioned, it starts with text and then pay attention, this title slightly zooms in and then goes down in scale and when it scales down, the cubes appear. It's not a coincidence, it must happen simultaneously. All six cubes appear precisely from the center of the frame, so let's animate their position. Looks good to me. If we go inside the cube precomps, we'll see that each cube also scales up from 0 to 100, and it happens exactly within 22 frames. There's no such thing as coincidence, the movement from the center of the frame, which we just discussed, also takes 22 frames. So I want these two motions to merge into one. Let's take a look at how the flickering happens. We just need to animate the fill color of this small inner rectangle, changing the color every two frames. And when you're happy, just copy and paste this entire sausage of keyframes to the other two rectangles. If you displace the keyframes a bit, it will create this flickering, so that they don't flicker at the same time, but each at a different time. 
To create this fake 3D rotation, we need to animate backwards. Let's keyframe all the paths of this element and then go 10-15 frames back and move the anchor points like this. We try to convert the cube into a flat 2D object, so we get rid of the top part. Also, don't worry about the inner rectangles since they are not visible at the moment. Some trim paths go on right after the cube is rotated. The timing here is important, and once the paths are fully revealed, the flickering starts. Note that each step happens sequentially, not simultaneously. Okay, this looks fine. And when all parts of the cubes are revealed, we can animate other elements like chains and lines. Trim path and opacity are what we will animate, nothing complicated here, the only thing that really matters is the right timing. Each chain has these groups inside, we can apply trim path to each group and also animate the opacity of the fill color. Just make sure everything happens in the right time. And voila, this is it! Give this video a like if it was useful, check out my Patreon shop, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!